click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in previous video we have studied the speed control method that is by controlling the field flux in this video we are going to study the speed control method in which armature voltage is controlled this method is also called as ward leonard method let us study this method in detail the figure shows the diagram for ward leonard method this method was proposed in 1891 if we see in this method here m is the motor whose speed is to be controlled g is the generator and m1 is the ac motor which is coupled to generator this ac motor can either be induction motor or synchronous motor the ac motor is connected to the three phase supply as it is a motor it will take the electrical input and the output will be mechanical this mechanical output of the motor is coupled to the input of the generator hence generator requires input which is mechanical so the output of motor acts as the input for generator generator will convert this mechanical energy into electrical energy now this generator output is connected to the motor whose speed is to be controlled hence the output of generator that is electrical energy will act as the input to our motor whose speed is to be controlled this motor will convert the electrical energy into mechanical energy whose output is given to the load here the combination of ac motor and the generator is called as mg set whereas the combination of motor whose speed is to be controlled and the load is called as dc drive motor now let us see the working of this diagram basically in ward leonard method armature voltage is controlled in this method the speed can be controlled below the rated speed as well as above the rated speed now let us see first how the speed is controlled below the rated speed for controlling the speed below the rated speed armature voltage is controlled here the generator output voltage vt can be varied by varying the generator field current ifg because this output vt acts as the input to dc motor in case of dc motor its field current and the flux of field is maintained constant similarly the armature current is maintained constant to its rated value as the current of the field generator varies from 0 to its rated value the output voltage vt will also vary from 0 to its rated value we know that speed is directly proportional to the voltage hence as the output voltage is varied from 0 to its rated value the speed can also be varied from 0 to its rated value in this way we can control the speed from 0 to rated value that is below its rated speed if we see here the armature current ia and the flux is maintained constant hence in this method we can get the constant power and constant torque this can be seen in its characteristic if we see the characteristic for wall leonard method here for the armature voltage control we can see that the power is constant as well as torque is constant this method we can control the speed up to the base speed that is our rated speed so the speed can be controlled from 0 to its rated speed now let us see how to control the speed above its rated speed now in order to control the speed above its rated speed we have to use the field flux control here if we see that we have to keep the armature current constant but we have to vary the field flux in order to vary the field flux the field of the motor current should be varied this is done by keeping the armature current constant as armature current is constant the voltage is also constant but as we are varying the field current the flux phi will be varied as the flux is varied we can see that if we reduce the flux the speed is increased 
if we increase the flux the speed is reduced now in order to have the control of speed above its rated speed the current is reduced the current that is ifm ifm is the current of the field of the motor whose speed is to be controlled this ifm is reduced eventually the current is proportional to flux hence the flux will be reduced as the flux is reduced speed will increase speed will increase we can get the speed control above its rated speed now here if we see the input to the motor as well as armature current is constant hence we get the constant power but as the flux is changing the speed that is omega m will also change hence the torque will be variable so by using this method we can get constant power and variable torque same can be seen by the characteristic if we see in the characteristic for the field flux control the power is constant whereas the torque is variable here the speed control can be obtained above the rated speed if we want to have the wide range of operation for the speed control both the methods that is armature voltage control as well as field flux control can be used hence by using the ward leonard method we can control the speed below the rated speed as well as above the rated speed now let us see what are the drawbacks of this method the main drawback of this method is that for controlling the speed of one motor we require two extra motors that is first is our motor that is connected to ac supply which drives the generator all this motor and generator should be of same rating hence huge amount of power is wasted second the efficiency is reduced we require large amount of space what are the advantages of this method so the main advantage of this method is wide range of speed control can be obtained by this method as the speed can be controlled above and below the rated speed also this method is very efficient thank you friends for watching this video stay tuned with ekida and do subscribe our channel ekida thank you